I found Glow Recipe. Shoot, this is too tight. Okay. Oh. Ooh, so I got this jacket too. And ta da! So this is the last item. Hey guys, happy day. Not happy day. You guys, why do I lose everything? I'm so frustrated with myself right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna like kick my butt. So I don't know where my little wallet is. And I put in the converter from the thingy, Majiga thingy that I stick in my notebook and I stick my SD card in there. So I need that for me to be able to edit. <sighs> Ah, uh, and if something goes wrong like this these days, I just don't want to do anything. Like, uh, I don't want to do anything that like I had planned through the day, you know? Because my day was so planned. Yes, daddy? So, what do you want to do? Ah. Ah, thank you. So, you want to do something? I can't edit anyways today, right? So what I'm gonna do, I have my camera, I could fail, can't I? Yes, I can. So I'll film my cleansing routine for y'all today. As you can see, I have some pesky acne around this area still. I'm breaking out here and there, but I'm not really stressing about it. Guys, I didn't get much skincare, but I did get this on the very, very first day. This is the La Roche Posay, the B5 Hylou Serum. I've been wanting to try this one and the vitamin one for such a long time, for as long as I can remember. And this was on sale, so usually it was like 40 something euros, but I got it for 20 something euros. So both of these were like 44 something um, euros. So I think I got it with like 40% discount or so. And this one is the La Roche Posay um, uh, extra rich. I don't know how to say it. hydrine, but uh, my friend uh, tried this one and she said there's a normal one and the extra rich one and she said she absolutely loved this for the winter time or the fall time so I had to get it and I bought these in Milan and in that particular pharmacy it was on sale so I'm really excited to try these out for the upcoming fall time and this is a brand that actually the very first video that I filmed and put up on my channel I have the lip and eye remover if you want to see that video I don't even have an intro I don't even have an ending I don't even have a thumbnail I think for it but if you guys do want to see it please check it out but anyway so these are two products that Paula's Choice sent me they needed an American address so I gave them my friend Jenny's address so she brought it actually to Italy so this is like baby that is from America that came to me, you know, all the way to Seoul. But this is Paula's Choice Exfoliator 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliation. I'm really excited about this. It says that it's for all skin types, uh, unclogs and shrinks, um, enlarged pores, smooths, and even skin tone, lightweight, liquid absorbs quickly. Can't wait until I try this with you guys. And this one is Paula's Choice Peptide Booster with Amino Acid Complex. This is also for all skin types. Once or twice daily applied to face and neck, may be used alone or added to your favorite moisturizer or serum. So I will try these babies out. And yes, so these are basically the skincare products that, you know, that came back with me. Guys, I found Glow Recipe. I've actually never tried Glow Recipe before and I've been wanting to try for so long and I'm really happy that I found it in Germany at the Douglas store. Ah, I really wanted to try the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Mm. Mm, it missed out really nicely and it smells really good like watermelons okay I wonder if it's cheaper here or online and they also have pixie here 
So the last time I saw it was in um, actually Dubai, Sephora. So this is the Glow Tonic one. And it's an exfoliating toner. And this mist looks good. I'm gonna mist Maseo. I can't pass by mists, you know. Testers, I gotta try them. This is the Glow Mist. Uh, with propolis and argan oil mm. you can see that the separation between the the ample and the little bit of the oil okay so I'm gonna also try this mm. oh. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> It seems like someone's spitting at you. Okay. It doesn't feel so great. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the Globus one. <laughs> mm, I don't like mist that's spray like that. Sometimes when the effects are so worth it, I want it. But if not, I want something... Yes! Mmm! Mmm, I like it. Oh my gosh! And I found Dr. Jartier! What? What, what, what? Okay, this is... Oh my god, I found Dewey Tree too! What? What, what, what? Okay, so they have a whole section. So this is Dr. Jart. Uh, they have one of the most well-known Tiger Grass um, repair serums here. Noise, noise. They have a whole section with the sheet masks. Noise, noise. Actually, have a lot of sheet masks. I think they're a little bit pricier. Definitely on the pricier side because this is like 9.9 .9 euros, 99 euros, so like 10 euros each. But it looks very fancy. Just from the pack packaging, you can tell that there's like a paper packaging. And then inside you have the real thing. I think I I just feel like extra packaging is unnecessary, but I guess it does feel like it's more fancier, so I think that's why brands want to kind of do it. But I think if you think about the environment, it's better that we just you know keep the packaging as minimal as possible. But yes, I do feel I feel you because you know pretty packaging is so pretty. You want it in your vanity and things like that. But cool, I, I've seen, I'm seeing a lot of sheet masks as well. Well, first of all, I got um, this, uh, what is this, olive oil for my friends. And I just thought this looked like a really nice perfume, right? It's so pretty. I love the packaging. It was super heavy, but I had to have it. It's like um, just olive oil, extra virgin, but the packaging so beautiful. And this is a truffle balsamic uh, sauce vinegar. I absolutely love, love truffle. Um, I don't like it too strong, but a hint of it is really good for uh, me. I, it's, it really fits my taste. So um, Wendy really loves balsamic. So I got this for Wendy. I knew she was going to love it. And these are presents for Derek. I didn't, I, well, it's kind of like for me, you know what I'm saying? Because I eat this too. Uh, I love pretzels, like with the passion, especially chocolate covered pretzels. So Derek loves them too. So we always get this for each other if you go to a country that has some type of snack like this and this is a wine that my friend Jenny just chose for me she just said like usually kind of like tacky packagings they're more tastier so <laughs> she chose this for me it's Falco Rosso Toscana we actually bought it in Germany not Italy but I think this is a Italian wine yeah and I also got coffee I think um, I asked someone like randomly on the like at the supermarket I was like oh I need I want to buy um, German coffee what's German coffee and this she's like oh this is a really popular German co coffee I think it's uh, just a classic and I got um, matching 
couple beanies uh, with Derek. I don't like couple clothes too much, but I love doing accessories like shoes together. We have like white uh, vans with red like lining um, that Derek bought me and we love doing like similar colors maybe, similar patterns or similar styles, but we don't like wearing same clothes. Um, I got this at H&M. It was super cheap. It was like, uh, how much was this? It was five euros or six euros around there. So I thought this is really cute. Loved, loved this pink color too. So I honestly, I could, you know, wear either and we can switch it off together. I wear a lot of Derek's clothes. So I thought this will be a cute present. And then I got this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna close the door. You guys, I still sprayed my back, so I'm not really able to move too much. But I got this cute top. And I got this cute skirt. Oh, sh my back hurts. But this is like pretty stretchy uh, for being a long skirt. Very comfortable. And I love this like furry. Um, in Korea, it's called angora. I don't know what you call it in English, but I love, love, love. It kind of tickles a little bit. So yes, this outfit and can you see the color? It's so comfortable. The fit was perfect. I wish I could, I feel like I could wear it with heels and make it a little bit dressy or I can just, how I wore it was just like with this top and with this and so I got this jacket too. The the number one thing I look at for coats and jackets, it has to be light or I never reach for it. So even though if it's a little bit expensive, I invest money in coats and um, outer jackets and stuff like that. I feel like with clothes, other clothes, it can be whatever you can wear for seasonal, you can throw it away. But I feel like as I'm growing older, I've noticed that it has to be warm and it has to be light. So this is a jacket I got. All the um, most of the clothes that I got is all from Italy. Like I wanted to get Italian brands. So that this was a super cute like color combination. Loved it and so comfortable and so easy. Also got this dress. It's all leather. It's a little bit heavy, but when you wear it, you can't really feel it. So I really love the fit and how comfortable it is. And um, this belt came with it, which was super cute. I feel like I could use it with other outfits too. And it fits me really well. Like I feel really like sexy in it. I feel really comfortable. Like I feel like everything that I want to tuck in is tucked in. So yeah. This was one of my favorites. This was probably the most expensive thing that I bought um, through this trip. And um, I got another bag from Rimoa and I've had a smaller version for like as long as I can remember. And I absolutely loved it. Um, I used this so well. I took it with me wherever I went to. Um, but I've noticed that it's so small. Rimoa, I have the hard cover so it never expands. So whatever, oh shoot, this is too tight. Okay. Oh, whew, okay. Derek and I have been wanting to buy one for a long time. So we decided to get one for both of us. So when we travel, we'll have like a small one of uh, that. And then we wanted to get a bigger one like this. And it was really cheap compared to Korea. This was, um, I'm not saying this was cheap, but I'm saying like compared to Korea, it was pretty good. And I've been using mine for more than eight years now or nine years. So I think it's totally worth the investment. really love how Rimoa, it, it's just so smooth for me to like roll around. That's one of the things that I love about them. And yeah, and just looks cute. I was so happy that they made me this, um, they engraved this thing for me. They said I could engrave up to five lettering. So I got the uni. Yeah, so I'm really happy about this purchase. And ta-da! So this is the last item that I got. And these are just like straight up cat eye sunglasses um, from Gucci. And um, as soon as I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. Um, I've been wanting a cat eye sunglasses for the longest time, but it really didn't fit my face shape. I don't know why, but I looked like... Um, 
Old Boy. Do you guys know that video uh, movie? You guys have to watch Old Boy. That's like one of the best movies, Korean movies ever, all time. But it's on Netflix too now. Uh, but it's on Netflix Korea, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But Old Boy is one of the best Korean movies ever. But anyways, I looked like the main character in there, so. Uh, this one was really big and I think it accentuates like uh, my jaw shape, my cheekbones and everything but I really liked it and it just doesn't seem like it's too much because it's like black frame too straight so I really like this to be honest the side detail was not my favorite I wished it was just like chic without even the Gucci logo this thingy but I think it makes it more vintage I felt like um if I don't lose it, <laughs> my my daughter can um, carry on with this too. But I felt like it really fits well with my feminine outfits. If it fits well with like uh, my casual outfits, just everything. And as long as cat eye is still in style, I think it'll be okay. And it fits my face shape, which was the most important thing. And I fell in love with it when I first saw it. And it's hard for me to do that with glasses and sunglasses. Like you have to look you know, as so many different things for you to be able to find the one. So I'm pretty picky with my sunglasses and things like that. And this is the last piece of clothing that I got. I loved this so much. I love how it's just like a button type. Um, I think I could wear it like under jackets and it's still very, very comfortable. Usually I love wearing like jean something under like a white jacket or I love showing this collar and I love putting it up sometimes so I thought this is just perfect for me and my favorite was the fit on the back and stuff on the side usually these things like it's hard to find a really pretty fit and it fits it, if the fit is pretty it's kind of uncomfortable so like jean jackets I like it but if, if it's not stretchy I don't reach for it I don't like anything that's too heavy or like not flexible so this was perfect for me and I feel like I'm gonna wear it a lot a lot so I'm really happy with all the purchases that I got Hey okay. So I'm gonna quickly wash my face with the quick Eye drops on, in, on, yeah, whatever. So before I take off my contacts, I always try to do this because already like your eyes are so sensitive and it's like attached to your, isn't that gross if you think about it? Some people can't watch other people touching their eyeballs, huh? But it makes it much easier and softer because it hydrates everything so that you know the contacts can come out but anyways guys today for cleansing i'm gonna double cleanse um but i'm gonna actually use different types of um uh, cleansing products because this part of my skin is really irritated um and i don't want to use a cleansing oil with a chemical exfoliant in it so um this one has ha in it but it does get rid of my like waterproof makeup um, and um, the cleanser that I'm using right now, the cleansing lotion, this is not able to remove my uh, waterproof makeup. So, okay. So around this area, ooh. Ah. The price of this was so nice and everything was good, but I heard it has artificial fragrance which can be irritating for sensitive skin types or even other skin types as well so i don't think i will be repurchasing this is by the face shop it's the rich watery bright cleansing lotion it's very very gentle i actually didn't know that um it had artificial scents because the scent itself it smells really good but it's not strong but i got a lot of dms letting me know and the price was really good too, which I really liked. Then I'm gonna be using the cleansing oil and blackhead. Um, this is AHA, they have BHA1 and PHA1. Uh, this is for dry skin types and I like this one. 
This one helps to exfoliate my skin gently. It also gets rid of um, all, it erases all the uh, waterproof makeup, which I was very surprised about. I think during the colder weathers, it's nice to use oils because our skin gets so dry. I'm so hungry, guys. I'm actually waiting for my mom. She's gonna come soon. And I can't wait until I cleanse and I eat something yummy. And I'm gonna chillax a little bit and wake up really early tomorrow because my the converter thing is coming at before 7. So I'm gonna start editing right at 7. So I'm gonna use something gentle today. I took this to um, Italy. This is the Pure May Wonder Stick Cleanser. And I've talked about this a couple of times. Pure May actually is not really well known in the States yet, but in Korea, People who know it, know it. Really gentle. I love using it as a daily cleanser and it doesn't irritate your skin, but it just gets everything, you know, done. It does its job. Actually, the manufacturer of, um, you know, the Soom cleansing stick, which was so big and very expensive, the manufacturer actually made this brand. So the quality itself is really good and the people who have tried it said it's very similar. It's like exactly from the same manufacturer, you know? So it's very similar um, with the Soom um, cleansing stick. For me personally, I don't like cleansing sticks because sanitary wise, like you're putting it on, you're using it and then it's wet, you know? And then you leave it like closed and then it's not gonna be fully dried and I feel like it's sanitarized, not the wisest choice. How I use it is, as you can see, probably it's not the most sanitary way either. <laughs> but how I used it was I scooped it out a little bit. One good thing is that it doesn't get wet each time, so it's always fully dry. So it's like kind of taking bits and bits of soaps every single day and using it. I'm gonna be using a toner and I really, really need these babies to calm down. So I'm just gonna be using um, products to calm my inflammation. That's like my main goal today, this throughout this week, I am sure. But I'm using, I'm from Mugworth Essence. I've been in live with this. The best part is it's hydrating. It calms my skin, it calms inflammation. Um, so I've been loving it these days and this is what I used throughout my whole trip um, to Italy and to Munich. Perfect. So now I'm going to put on my sheet mask. I love the Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask, especially when my skin is irritated. I think when my skin's irritated, I really like this one. I love the I'm From Mugworth one. Um, I love the Dewey Tree ones. Um, I love the Benton, the, the redness something. I love that one. I can't wait until I get it. I want to get more from Yes Style. And I popped this in the fridge, but I think <laughs> it like froze. Oh, shh. It's so cold. Oh, no. Do you hear that? Oh, shoot. I popped it in for like, I thought five minutes, but oh, man. I guess I was in the bathroom for a long time. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shoot. It's so cold. Oh, oh my gosh. And I recently um, bought 10 of these and 10 of the Midnight Blue uh, Calming Sheet Mask for Derek's boss. Um, he's really close with his bosses, both of them. But we bought it for one of them because it was his birthday. So uh, we got him like a, like a diffuser thingy for his car. Ooh. And we also got him um, sheet mask because he was. We gave him the UV essence uh, clear sunscreen and he loved it. He's like, oh my gosh! And then he's like, oh, oh, can you recommend me some sheet masks? So I was like, okay. <laughs> So um, I wanted to recommend him something gentle for his skin type because he also has sensitive skin. Um, but anyways, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then take it off. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. 
Okay guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. <sighs> Never really lets me down. Yes, look how the redness is calmed. Oh yes, oh yes. It feels calmed, it looks calmed. Fabulous, okay, so I'm gonna finish off with just a cream. I feel like that will be enough. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish off with Tekka 1% Barrier Cream. I personally really like using this when my skin is irritated and I really want to restore um, my skin's barrier. The only thing is that this is pretty tiny. So for you to use it for like a night cream every single day, you're gonna use it up too fast. But I like using it when my skin's really irritated or on partial areas is good too. So this is the area that's bothering me the most. It has a very ointment like texture. It's very thick. But anyways guys, I am done. I'm really happy with how my skin is calmed. Ah, oh, that I love Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask. It really never lets me down. So Anyways, my skin is feeling better and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna go get something to eat with my mom when she comes back and I'll see you guys tomorrow.